Hey, welcome back to the channel, Love on Two Wheels. It is your boy, Double H, and I think it's been about 10 weeks since the last time you've seen me. I'll explain in just a minute, but some of you should already know. Get that intro. Hey, welcome back. And yeah, did I miss you? Of course I missed you. Uh, <laughs> why wouldn't I miss you? And I'm sure some of you missed me as well. At least I like to think that anyway. But yeah, so it's been about 10 weeks. It's about the same time as remember my last video. And I should have been making something in between there, but I did not. So I apologize for that. But from my last video, you noticed that I had surgery on my left shoulder here. I had, uh, I had to go and clean it up uh, with the rotator cuff and everything else. And so I have not been on the bike since the day before my surgery. That's right. I tried to do it. I tried to ride up to the last minute of before I had the surgery because I knew I was going to be out for a little while. And am I fully healed up? No, I'm not even going to try a lot of you like that. Is there still a little pain? Yeah, absolutely. But it's a little bit pain. I've been going through physical therapy. Um, God bless those who are physical therapists in the medical field. Look, you guys are just doing wonderful work. As you can see, I'm moving my arm around a little bit. Um, I couldn't do that just a few weeks ago. And I also couldn't lift my arm up to actually ride the bike. And I did not want to take a chance of dropping um, my beautiful Road Glide Special. So today is the day. It's a beautiful day out here. Uh, we're in the garage right now. I'm going to go for my first test ride after about 10 weeks. Um, I'm excited as well as most people should be excited, right? And trying to, you know, my wife had to keep me from riding the bike because, you know, we're not smart. We try to rush everything um, before we're ready, but this is what we do. And thank God for her, because I probably would have done something terrible to the bike and we don't want to do that. So here she is right there. So yeah, she's been out uh, a little bit. I've taken her at least outside to start her up and everything else but she hasn't been on the road uh since january so i'm gonna go out for a little while just just a nice little leisurely stroll maybe um go out to the new bucky's and hang out there for a minute grab a sandwich and come on back um then i actually have some other special news for you uh, i told you i was gonna do some upgrades and um i didn't put any upgrades on there now um while, while i was down but some of the stuff are still are just now coming in and I've got something special for this weekend as well. So I'll be right back. Actually, I'm gonna take a little ride and I'll let you know how it goes. All right, until then. So here's what happened. This actually took two days, right? I know I said I was gonna come right back, but I did go out for a ride uh, earlier that day and it was okay. I went about 45 minutes just to check out my shoulder and see how it worked out. And it was okay. It was a little bit sore. Um, but nothing that uh, was going to be, be major. Now, again, I also thought there was going to be a surprise. The surprise was I rode up to Franklin, Tennessee to Moonshine Harley Davidson. And this is where the surprise comes in. So two points about that. You guys know how in the South, you guys might've been hearing about the storms we've been having. So they calmed down a little bit. However, it didn't calm down in, uh, in the Tennessee area. So I did ride up there, but. You got to stay ready. So I did have my wetsuit with me, um, my rain suit with me. And so I was able to put that on before the sky fell out. However, I still kept riding. And that's about a two hour, two and a half hour trip uh, north. And I made the trip back. So about 400 miles, give or take. And let me tell you something, my shoulder is now paying for it. Um, it was a test ride, but uh, a test nonetheless. And so, um, uh, yeah, I'm in a little pain using some uh, using some biofreeze and some ice is going to help it out. But it's still it's working itself while it's getting stronger every day. So uh, thank you for all the those who have been reaching out to me and saying, hey, hope you feel better and everything else. So it is it is getting better. However, let me show you what I did do at Moonshine Harley Davidson and tell me what you think. So check these out. I did get some Chrome Works. Four and a half inch, but here, check this out. This is even something special right there. I don't know if you can see that right there. Moonshine horsepower. Their own special ones. Yeah. 
Yeah, let me see if I can focus that in a little bit. They had, when I say they got their own money, they got their own money. Some of y'all gonna remember that little reference right there. That's just showing my age. We're getting too old. So yeah, they have their own uh, horsepower uh, department, and they do a lot of uh, work with with several vendors um, in the high performance area. And so they they market a lot of their stuff, and so they they got their own branding. I mean, I could actually make this entire bike a moonshine horsepower bike, and I might just do that. They do work with like SNS. Um, Chrome works, um, fueling, you name it. So if you ever need some stuff done to your bike, you know, you, you've been you've been hearing about the uh, 124 sleepers. Great bike, by the way, for a uh, tall, great bike, by the way. But they've got a 124, 128, 131. I think they're going to a 152, something like that. Something utterly ridiculous. Something that I would never, ever need. Um, I want to be able to ride long distances. Those in that kind of performance, you're basically drag racing and and just uh, racing all together. So I don't think I need any of that. However, I am keen on. He tried to talk me into it, but it's going to be a little while because um, it's a little pricey. But I think I can make it happen. But uh, they do have a 128 kit. It's an SNS kit, but they brand it with um, uh, Moonshine Harley Davidson horsepower. So that may be the next thing on the list. Leave the comments down below and let me tell me what you think about that. And that actually might be the next performance upgrade or the next of the next. So we'll see how that works out. But I also have another little surprise for you. So I think several people have also said that, hey, something about if you, if you spend this much money on a Harley Davidson touring bike, especially the touring bikes and I guess it goes along the all the entire line of Harley Davidson's is that uh, you spend a lot of money. However, you have to spend money for aftermarket parts to make your bike personable and sometimes even just comfortable. So take for example, you've got the seats here, right? So I've upgraded the seats. This is the Mustang seat. Some have asked me, hey, where 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 I get the seat from? It is the Mustang seat. I bought this on Amazon actually. Um, this is for the Super Tour. So, but I'm actually thinking about upgrading this seat i actually saw at moonshine harley davidson they do have uh the saddleman road sofa extended ls um but they didn't have the one with the backrest so i passed on that only because they didn't have the backrest um and i'm 45 years old going on 46 and i'm a soldier right so i do need a backrest i've I put in my time i do need a backrest um but that's one thing other creature comforts that you um, take for granted when you first purchase the bike is suspension. Oh my God. If you've ever gone over roads, especially out here in the South, you will understand that suspension is key. You will hit a pothole, you will hit a bump in the road, and it'll go down or go up your back, up your spine, and you'll feel every little bump. So let me show you what I did. Let me take these bags off and I'll show you what I did. So just one moment. Okay, now that I have the bag off, I'll show you. I just took the left side uh, saddle bag off just to, just to show it to you. Um, now, y'all excuse the bike. Like I said, it was raining. It was it was clean before we took off, as it is always. We came back. It's filthy. So, excuse the mess a little bit. All right? It's gray. You may not see it all, but you get close enough to it, you, you could tell. But here you go. Legend. Revo A's. Right there. And it's a big difference, a big difference. I actually was trying to run over bumps just to see how it feels, and it was like butter. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get a little closer into it. And so for my, so they did the sag test, and for me, we left it on three on both on both sides. And anytime you want to go ahead and uh, add weight two up, and I normally don't ride two up, but if you could, if I would. I would turn that to a four on both sides. I think that's right. I'm sure somebody's gonna correct me if I'm wrong, but um, any weight I add to it, I'll preload that to a four. I probably won't go any further than a four, and then um, we'll go from there. But look at that, that's just beautiful. And the sound that it makes, oh, I'm sure you wanna hear that, right? Yeah, of course you do. 
All right, one moment. Let's turn this on. Let's go ahead and put this in, uh, in neutral. All right. Now, I don't know if the if you can if the camera does it any justice, but let me tell you something. You can definitely hear that. I've I've always had to wear earplugs well, since I started riding just because of the hearing loss and everything else like that. However, I'm definitely definitely made sure I put my uh, my earplugs in when I left shop yesterday, and <laughs> I actually that's not true. So for the first 35 minutes or so, I I rode without any earplugs. I wanted to hear the entire thing myself just to get a little feel for it. Um, but then it got to a point where I had to end up putting my earplugs back in. So, um, sounds great. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'm looking at some more upgrades. I've actually got some other things. I've reached out to Advan Black. I will be getting the lowers put on here. Um, see right now, it's just bare. And the lowers just makes it feel good, especially um, when it's cold outside. You don't want a whole lot of wind on your legs. It does help with that. A little bit i've ordered some other parts to it um i'm waiting on some sissy bars to come in i'm not gonna tell you where i got them from but i'm sure you can probably guess uh but they'll be coming in in the next week or two and i'll show you those as soon as they get here as well as what else am i coming in that might be it for right now but like i told you because i was laid up for so long i mean it was before my ride two days ago, it was 10 and a half weeks, give or take, since I've been on the bike because of the surgery. So like I said, it's it's getting a lot better. It's not there yet. Um, I can't bring it up all the way on both sides, but physical therapy, oh my goodness. God bless them. Let's just, let's just say that, God bless them. Because you, sometimes it makes you want to curse, but I try not to. We keep it humble. They're doing their job and I'm doing mine. I do want to get back out here and riding without pain. So. I'll continue to I'll continue uh, to make sure I make it to physical therapy. So I won't keep you waiting too much longer. Next time for the next videos, they'll be coming on a regular basis. Um, keep your comments. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and get to hit the bell notification button. So anytime these new videos do come out, you'll get you'll be the first ones to receive these videos. All right. Love on two wheels. I'm Double H. I'll see you then.